Imagine the thrill of waking up in the middle of the night, face to face with a 300 pound bear. It's a heart stopping moment that could easily become a reality when camping in the high Sierra. This was the bone chilling experience of three friends resting peacefully under a star studded sky, their senses lulled by the serene mountain night. Picture this, the comforting silhouette of a granite ridge, the gentle rustle of trees swaying in the breeze, and then a bear's snout. Suddenly, the tranquility is shattered by an unexpected and unsettling presence. Their adrenaline spiked, their senses heightened, yet memory retained only fleeting glimpses of the bear's features. The most vivid, the underside of its muzzle, just inches away from their faces. This wasn't a chance encounter or a bear aimlessly wandering into their campsite. No, this was an invitation, unwittingly extended by the campers themselves. How, you ask? The answer lies in the remnants of their late-night feast. Scattered food scraps, unwashed dishes, and the lingering aroma of pasta and beer had transformed their campsite into an irresistible bear buffet. But bears, especially those in places like Yosemite, aren't just opportunistic feeders. They're bold. The scent of human food, wafting through the crisp mountain air, can draw them from miles away. And this bear? enticed by the scent of an easy meal, found itself face to face with three wide-eyed campers instead. In that moment of mutual surprise, uncertainty rippled through the campsite. The bear, just as perplexed as the humans, rose on its hind legs, its imposing figure silhouetted against the moonlit sky. The tension was palpable, the silence deafening. Each side gauged the other, unsure of their next move. This unexpected confrontation left both humans and bear uncertain about their next move. Bears, particularly those in well-known bear country like Yosemite, are notorious for their boldness when it comes to human food. Now, that might sound a tad alarming, but it's essential to understand why this behavior exists in the first place. Bears, like us, are omnivores. They have a diverse diet that ranges from berries and plants to fish and small mammals. However, human food packed with calories and flavors can be particularly enticing to them. The aroma of a grilled burger or a pot of pasta wafting through the wilderness is like an irresistible dinner bell for our furry friends. And once they've gotten a taste, they'll remember where to find it. This is where things can become potentially dangerous. The bear that interrupted the sleep of our three campers wasn't there for a social call. It was attracted by the lingering scent of their late night feast the bear had expected to find an easy meal, but instead it came snout to face with three startled humans. An unexpected confrontation like this sets the stage for uncertainty and fear, both for the bear and the people involved. In the wild, bears generally prefer to avoid humans. However, when food is involved, they can become surprisingly bold, venturing into campsites and even rummaging through unsecured trash. This behavior is not just a potential danger for us humans, but it can also be harmful for the bears. Bears that become too accustomed to human food can become problematic and may have to be relocated or, in unfortunate cases, euthanized. So back to our High Sierra standoff. The bear, just as surprised as the campers, rose on its hind legs and in a moment that could have been straight out of a cartoon, it sneezed. This unexpected action diffused the tension and both parties took the opportunity to retreat. The standoff in the High Sierra was broken when the bear sneezed, providing an opportunity for both parties to retreat. This story serves as a reminder of the importance of understanding bear behavior and the potential risks associated with attracting them to our campsites. It's a lesson in coexistence, respect and responsibility when we venture into bear country. One of the most effective ways to avoid bear encounters is proper food storage. Let's dive into some practical tips on this. First and foremost, always store all your food, including leftovers, in bear-resistant containers. These are specially designed to deter bears and keep your food safe. If you're in the wild without access to these containers, an alternative is to hang your food at least 10 feet above the ground, making it difficult for bears to reach. Now, it's not just food that attracts bears. They're drawn to anything with a strong scent. That means your aromatic items like perfumes, toothpaste, or scented lotions can also lure them in. So, it's best to avoid bringing these items into your sleeping area. Instead, store them separately, preferably in the same bear-resistant containers or hung from a tree. 
just like your food. You might be thinking, I've stored all my food and scented items properly. I'm safe now, right? Well, not quite. You see, bears don't just rely on what they can see. They have an incredibly sharp sense of smell. In fact, it's been estimated that a bear's sense of smell is seven times stronger than a bloodhound's. To give you an idea, a bloodhound can track a scent trail that's over 300 hours old. So multiply that by seven and you get an idea of just how sensitive a bear's nose is. This means that even the lingering smell of food on your clothes can attract a bear. So it's a good practice to avoid sleeping in the same clothes you wore while cooking. Instead, change into fresh clothes before you hit the sack and store your cooking clothes safely away from your sleeping area. By now, you should have a good understanding of why proper food storage is so important when you're in bear country. It's not just about keeping your food safe from hungry bears, but also about ensuring your safety and the bears as well. Remember, a bear's sense of smell is extremely sharp, so every precaution helps. Keeping a clean camp and choosing your sleeping areas wisely are critical in bear country. Let's delve into this a bit further. First and foremost, cleanliness is key. Bears have a keen sense of smell, and even the smallest food scraps can attract them. So make sure you keep your campsite clean. After enjoying your meal, ensure that every morsel is securely stored away or properly disposed of. Leaving food out, even unintentionally, is like rolling out a red carpet for our furry friends. Next is dish duty. Washing dishes might not be your favorite camping chore, but it's an essential one. Clean your dishes thoroughly immediately after meals and store them away. Even the slightest scent of food residue can lure bears to your campsite. And remember, it's not just food. Bears are also attracted to the smell of beverages. So don't forget to clean your cups, mugs and flasks. Now let's talk about sleeping areas. Where you choose to sleep is just as important as how you maintain your campsite. Avoid areas that bears frequent. Look for signs like claw marks on trees, fresh scat or tracks. It's also wise to set up camp a good distance from your cooking and food storage areas. In addition, be cautious about what you wear to bed. It may seem convenient to crawl into your sleeping bag in the same clothes you cooked in. But remember, those clothes carry the aroma of your meal. To a bear, you might just smell like dinner. Change your clothes before you hit the hay and store your cooking clothes away from your sleeping area. It's essential to be bear aware at all times, but especially at night. Consider using a bear resistant tent for an added layer of protection. And above all, always have an escape plan in mind, just in case a curious bear does decide to pay your campsite a visit. These simple practices can greatly reduce the likelihood of a surprise visit from a bear. Scene script. Knowledge is power. Being aware of bear behavior and signs of their presence can significantly increase your safety. Bears are magnificent creatures, fascinating in their strength and intelligence. But remember, we are guests in their homes and it's essential to understand their habits and behaviors. First off, be aware that bears are primarily active at dawn and dusk. These are their feeding times, so plan your activities accordingly to avoid any unwanted encounters. Secondly, bear signs. Tracks, scat and claw marks on trees are clear indicators of bear activity. Recognizing these signs will help you gauge whether you are in a high-risk area. Now, what about bear behavior? Well, most bears avoid human contact. However, if a bear stands on its hind legs, it's not being aggressive. It's simply trying to get a better look or smell. If a bear sways its head, it's often a sign of being unsure and nervous. Remember, it's as scared of you as you are of it. But what if a bear charges? Contrary to popular belief, running is not the solution. Instead, stand your ground, make yourself appear larger, and speak to the bear in a calm, assertive voice. Most charges are bluff charges and the bear will stop or change its direction. Lastly, bear spray. It's your best defense in the unlikely event of a bear attack. It's a potent pepper spray that can deter a charging bear and give you time to retreat. But remember, it's not a repellent. Don't spray it on your gear or around your camp and make sure you know how to use it properly. Practice makes perfect. Bear encounters can be unnerving. And while it's important to respect these creatures, fear should not deter us from exploring and appreciating the great outdoors. By staying bear aware, you can enjoy the beauty of the wilderness without compromising your safety or the well-being of these magnificent creatures.